Subspecies from 1991. Uh, here's the summary, kind of a lengthy one. The evil vampire villain Radu returns to his hometown Prejnar after spending years in exile. He steals the precious bloodstone, which is said to be bleeding from all saints, from his father and kills him. Meanwhile, two American schoolgirls team up with a local girl for work on Romanian culture. Jesus Christ. Jared, tell me what this movie's about. Uh, vampire. Yeah, it's a vampire. He's got long <laughs> fingers. Vampire <buddy. laughs> with long fingers. I'll tell you what, man. Every time, I don't know why, but every time Radu came into the scene, a song, like, I think that this could be made into a successful musical if the right people took it on because here comes Mr. Long Fingers, right? Yeah. I'm coming and I'm creeping with my long fingers. <laughs> Yeah, so you, come on, you you got you got some info on this first. Yeah, oh, let's, yeah, yeah. let's give let's give the uh, information. I just get so excited when I think about those low, creepy fingers. Yeah, long nails too. <laughs> like it's really long. Yeah, we're gonna have to break down the science of those. Um, directed by Ted Nicolau, known for Terror Vision, Bad Channels, and all of the sus- subspecies movies. Also, Puppet Master vs. Demonic Toys, and many many other movies. That I personally will be in, be looking into. Well, and another one's uh, the Vampire Journals, which uh, just going off the trailer looks a lot has that same feel as Subspecies does. Yeah, it's, very gothic. It just looks like it's Romania, Trans, or you know, Transylvania. That look gothic. D- the um, this movie was written by Jackson Barr Romanian. and David Pabian. Well, with an unusual credit, uh, uh, with the idea, Charles Charles, Charles, Charles Band, Band just had the idea. I imagine he has all of the ideas for every full moon picture that's ever been made from, uh, what is the head of the family to uh, all the puppet masters. He's he the mind behind all of those, like Ginger Dead Man? He just has good ideas, but can't do anything else. <laughs> um, th- this is a full moon mo- movie, uh, which as per usual, I love the score. I think it's fucking fantastic um but yeah but uh, see i you know i've seen a, f- a few full moon pictures and it seems like they all have the same they soundtrack. do they reuse things like is it like public domain or no. is it someone writing this because it already paid their... somebody and getting their money's worth full moon pictures <laughs> charles, charles we had band. one good idea charles band and we're going to use it he through everything well, it's like how much did we pay for this well fuck it this is going in the next six uh, movies re- recycle he reuses mo- stretch he re- that dollar just this movie alone he uses footage from it in the talisman frankenstein reborn planet patrol and monsters gone wild he, he uses takes footage, footage from this movie Outside, uh, you know, outside of the castle, you'll use that some. Hey, but Michael Bay does that too. I'm pretty sure they all. I mean, if you have a stockpile of footage, uh, yeah, you need a castle shot. Yeah, you use got cut, <laughs> got kind of cut. But, but once you use it in a movie, it seems like yeah. you should probably leave it alone. Yeah. Well, no, Charles Band is a is a he's got a lot of ideas. Uh, <laughs> I, I, this has got a tagline: "The you night has." Fame. You don't use your socks once and throw them away. <laughs> God damn it, Jared! We're not talking about socks. <laughs> Wash them, a freaking son, movie. Wash them sons, bitches up, and put them back on your feet. <laughs> ah, they won't know. Let's just. <laughs> oh, I need a castle shot. Anyway, Jared, he was talking over me. Tagline: The night has fangs <laughs> and long <laughs> fingers, bitch. Long <laughs> fingers. <laughs> oh, I love the look of the vampire. It makes me so happy because I'm not normally a vampire guy, but this motherfucker. I agree. Me. Uh, this Radu is. Like one of the best interpretations of a vampire. Like he's one of my favorite vampires. Yeah, he he. Uh, I like you know. I really do like Jared. I, I'm serious. You should write a musical. Uh, next Mississippi Bones album should be a musical about subspecies. Uh, you should sing it, and uh, I don't know. I, I, it's just an idea. <laughs> but I was envisioning actually Nick Cave playing uh, Radu. You know, if you've ever seen Nick Cave. Um, <laughs> I, I have. Anyways, that's all the uh, like, like. Are you talking live or a picture? A picture of him. Okay, I've like seen he looks a lot like Radu. Um, Angus Scrim, boy, what a fucking waste of him they used in this movie. He looked like an old Monty Python character or something. How did they spend so much time on Radu and his long fingers? And then they where all the money it was. It was just a hook. It was a uh, an door. iconic horror face. 
Uh, let's throw him in the beginning of the movie. But he looked like an old lady. <laughs> uh. I don't know. Um, my favorite character in this movie is the old dude who can't wait to blast a vampire with rosary beads. I don't know who that guy is, <laughs> but <laughs> he's gonna he's gonna shoot it with rosary beads. Rosary beads, cut of wood, holy relics. That is what I will shoot him with straight to the heart. I'm gonna blast it. Yeah, uh, this this was one uh, I missed. Like it was always in the video store. I missed this entirely. I watched it for the first time ever just a couple years ago. Yeah. I, yeah, I missed it too. Because I was at your ZTO event and I won the Blu-ray. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I won the Blu-ray. And even then, I won the Blu-ray. I didn't end up watching it for like another year or two. And uh, I know Josh was always, no, nah, you got to watch this movie. It's great. And it might have been the build up to it. I don't think it's bad by any stretch of the imagination. It's a full moon vampire flick and it's good. Right. The vampire looks great. But overall the movie I was just kind of like, well that's not that's not as good as I as I was expecting it to be. <laughs> but saying that, I did watching it, I did think if it had been something I watched at thirteen, like when yeah. Josh watched it, like entering in in the early nineties into horror I watch it's like yeah I could see a lot of this sticking with me and me being like it's awesome but coming in 2015 and it being my first experience with it it was it was fun I've watched it since it is a really fun watch uh if you like vampires at all uh you'll probably love this I don't I'm not a big vampire guy and I really enjoyed all of the it's so vampire y. There's, <laughs> the, 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 the worst thing about this movie is the video composite little minions. Oh, yeah. Um, See, like I, the, the opening scene looks absolutely horrible. But think about this, Jason. They were previously shot with human beings as those minions. No, 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 no. Yeah, they were. And no, they that's went back in. Claymation. They went back in and they re- they did them as claymation after they had already shot it as. I don't know. With real All people. I know is that the, like the open. The, well, maybe not the opening scene, but in the beginning, they look awful. But later on, they look halfway decent. But then they go back to doing the, the video composite. Yeah. Yeah. I, I like They get real, like, uh, digital I liked weird the, looking. I, I liked the Clay Minions, but it reminded me of really bad old. Yeah, they're fine. Yeah. It's just the it way they... like bad yeah. gate demons or something. Again, it, it, we, we see it all the time. Certain shots, they look stuff looks good, and then they look they look horrible in another shot. Yeah, um, I recommend this to, to anybody who wants to, who likes vampires, really, or I mean, anybody who likes horror, good cheesy full moon. Yeah, uh, well, as stuff. far as like direct to video movies, uh, this is very solid in in that category. Yeah, I give it a six out of ten. And if anybody wants to make a musical, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, it's a good idea. Um, I thought I thought the atmosphere was good. I liked, I really liked it being shot in Transylvania. I like the old the old castles and kind of had that old uh universal set look uh, the hammer horror set um the music's okay the acting's okay the story is good enough um and there is part two and three actually i think there's four now yeah, i think, think so. there's a fourth one i believe so um i gave it a five. Oh well i'm not that far off everybody then yeah <laughs> i gave it a five you guys were like I, I always uh, josh always thought i was crazy on this one because i was like yeah it's all right He's like, no, it's way better. And then you guys were talking. Radu, about I think, is great. Like, if you can but, take that character and put him in, a, yeah, 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 the, the another actor, movie, Somebody the actor that taken, played him. And I, I agree. Like the, he the, always, had, I love how he always has blood running <laughs> out of his mouth. <laughs> they, they captured, they captured the feel, yeah, and the atmosphere. Like Jason was saying, they did, they do. It's, it's a solid full moon. Yeah. Picture. What did you give it? Five. Fine. I thought I was going to be yeah. way lower than everybody. Somebody actually did. There is somebody who has taken the Radu character on YouTube and they review things. It's not good. I'm not going to say it's good. It's terrible. It's not funny. <laughs> it could be fucking hilarious. But Frank's it's like, not, it's not. It's not the last roundup horror show. It's not. Well, it's not a subspecies musical. That's gold and Full Moon. Do it. Well, you got the footage. It's just fucking do it again, <laughs> yeah. Charles. 